welcome to a new video. My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and welcome to another PO Books opening video. So if you're kind of new to my channel, you may be thinking, wow, this girl has an entire channel dedicated to opening mail. But no, I actually started this channel to share my love for mail and to share the fun I had in creating happy mail, snail mail and pen pal letters. But because we are moving house, we are currently renovating our new place. Life has been kind of crazy and honestly, I received so much mail. I could actually dedicate an entire channel to just doing these videos. I'm super, super grateful for that. But I'm also really excited to get back into mail making videos. So please don't leave. I mean, if you want to unsubscribe, you can, but I promise I will get back to making meal videos myself soon as well, too. <sighs> so hey guys, it's still the same day. If you haven't seen part one yet, go check that out because wow, there are some really, really cool things in there as well. And I'm now going to open part two. <sighs> Like I said, it is still the same day. I still haven't finished my hot chocolate, but I have to finish. I mean, I have to cut these videos into two because if I edit something that's longer than half an hour, my editing program becomes really slow, really annoying, and uploading is also a pain. So let's do this. Okay. Mm. Next, I have two. Next, this one is from Jane. Absolutely adorable. She uh, wrote me a postcard and it says building a house. I'm of course not going to show you the message But I am going to read you one quote she wrote on there Which I thought was very very special and my boyfriend thought so too And it says someone else may have built the house, but you will build the home and I thought that was so beautiful Thank you so much Jane. I really really appreciate it And I cannot wait to show you the new house and then this one, which is from Brittany, uh, her address is on the back because she also has a PO box. Although, I have to admit, she does not accept any new pen pals. So, I didn't cover up her address because it's a PO box, but I don't... She's actually not accepting new mail, I think. But I'm not entirely sure. This is a chocolate fix. So, she decorated it with a lot of these cute girls. I got some of those in the previous PO box mail and I'm... Once again, I want to share them with her because it's really her style. First of all, she wrote me a letter. I will put that back because it is private. But Brittany, if you're watching this, um, please know that I absolutely loved your letter. I think it was nice for me the same way it was nice for you. It's just really, really comforting to have someone with the same YouTube videos and the same problems and the same things i don't know it's just really nice to have something so in common with someone to actually be able to talk about that with someone and then she sent me this adorable adorable mail it's a little tiny flip book and first of all look at those tags in the front absolutely adorable hmm. oh my gosh i don't even know which one is my favorite probably the house plant one so cute and then again, a huge paper clip. How do you guys know I love these so much? Ah, so pretty. And then I, I have to admit, Brittany, I already looked at your mail because well, once again, I was too curious. And I actually told myself that because we're doing the house decorating and everything now, I got to open one mail a day as like a reward. Like I did a lot of things in the house. I get to open mail, um, but then I, so I opened a few already before actually opening them in this video and then Brittany I have to tell you that I'm definitely going to use this idea for creating meal myself because I think this might actually be a page from the Kiki K book I don't know but it feels kind of sturdy it's like a postcard and then she decorated it with more paper patterned paper and then she made two little pockets letter which actually did not hold the letter because it doesn't fit, but two pockets. And I absolutely love this idea. It looks so fun and I'm definitely going to make some myself. So if you see some mail from me that looks like this, it's definitely Brittany's idea. First of all, we have this adorable sticker sheet. I think this is all Kiki K and I absolutely love it. I don't know why. And then we have this cute letter writing. Oh my God. This cute letter writing paper for me to use. It's cat themed. There's a kitty at the front and a little mice at the bottom, which is so adorable. 
and she said I hope you enjoy the rest of the Kiki K stuff because it, with Christmas she sent me a huge parcel with a lot of Kiki K stuff I cannot get over it she spoiled me and then some tea which I definitely love I don't I've never seen this in our stores if you're Dutch and you've seen this tell me where <laughs> because I want to buy it but it's really really good for bedtime tea and then a lot more some cute little notes oh this is actually an envelope with another kitty so cute more stickers you're so generous for wanting to share all of that with me i find it so hard to actually give stuff from my floor book away this is really cute and then this one beautiful oh there's more i didn't look at it that closely <gasps> two adorable postcards i have the why does my camera keep cutting me off? But I was saying, okay, my camera cut me off, but I was saying, I said this is all Alice in Wonderland themed, but that's actually wrong. I meant to say Red Riding Hood because you have the, uh, the wolf here with the Red Riding Hood cape. So that's absolutely adorable. And then this booklet from Fleur Magazine, The Joy of One Thing at a Time, notebook. Really cute. It has all of these one thing at a time um, pages. I don't know how else to explain it. It says, for example, this one says multitasking is a myth and focus is calming. So I loved your mail, Brittany. I am definitely going to reply to you. And I want to thank you for all of these beautiful goodies you wanted to share with me. You said in the video that you don't buy stationery often. So the fact that you wanted to share so much of that with me is really heartwarming and I wanted to thank you for that. Okay, it is a little bit dark because it is that time of day where the sun is going down and the sun is shining directly at the table so I had to close the blinds. The next one I have is this one from Lina. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Lina from Denmark. I also hope I'm saying this correctly but I think that might actually be the first mail I'm getting from Denmark. Or did I already get that? I don't actually remember do you guys know what i want to do for my craft room we currently have you guys of course do not know because i haven't told you yet but we currently have this huge map that i actually bought for my boyfriend and it's actually a cork board map so you could put pins in the map on the places where you've been before and i was actually thinking of taking the present i've given him <laughs> and putting that in my craft room so that I can pinpoint all of the places I have received mail from before. I thought that would be really, really cool. And then I could see if this is my first mail from Denmark or not. And also, this is definitely the first time I've seen that stamp. And she decorated it really cute with these donut stickers. And inside is this really adorable postcard, like a little color in postcard that says, smile, life is beautiful. And on the back is a sweet message that <laughs> I really, really appreciate. So thank you so much, Lena. I really, really do, um, do want to thank you for reaching out to me because it means the world to me. Then I have a large envelope. I cannot believe that I managed to keep this closed for the time being, but I'm really curious to see what this is about. This one is from Robin, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Robin. Robin is a dear subscriber of mine. Of course, probably everyone who is sending me mail is a subscri subscriber of mine. But okay, <laughs> I am. Um, I have to say something. And then, first of all, why do they always cover up the pretty things? There is a quote here, when you love what you have, you have everything you need, which is, I think is really pretty. And she decorated it also quite nicely, but the stickers, the stickers get in the way. And I'm just going to open this because I am curious. Wow! Oh, it's wrapped! Oh my god, it's like presents. I'm just going to put this aside. I hope the lighting is okay. It's wrapped with this really beautiful tissue paper. And I love this gold foiled panther washi tape. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, wow! Oh, there's a message on the front that said um, that she couldn't. What did they say again? I had to keep the flip book unfolded. I'm sure you will find the front page. Yeah, because I, I get that. Because if you fold it, it actually becomes very heavy. 
very fat. Mm. Oh my God, there's so much in here. I think this is the front or I'm completely messing it up. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I think this is actually the front and this would be the back. First of all, that paper is absolutely beautiful. I've actually looked at that collection before because I have the co this collection. I think I have some digital images from it and it is so pretty. This is so me. Wait, let me put it flat. I really, I, I don't remember what it's called, but wow, that is so me. And then you packed it with the stuff. Okay, I'm just going one page at a time. Yeah, this is, I definitely have that. I just, I wish I remember what it was called with the little boots and the flowers in there. Okay, let me check. Meal tag. Answers. Hmm. I don't know, I wonder if she forgot to actually write her answers on there or if this is just so that I can actually use them. That would also be really, really cute. First of all, wow, you actually gave me some of those gorgeous items belonging to this um, to this collection. I would not be able to part with them. Oh my God, I'm just going at it. I think I have to go at it from the top to the bottom. Or maybe that was actually the point. Why am I so confused? No, I'm just going at it like this. Top to bottom, Vivian, focus. We have a beautiful washi type sample. Oh my God, I still, I cannot actually talk because this is actually really pretty. I think I wanna hang this up in my craft room. Mm. I feel like I say this very often, but I wanna find a place to put this in my future craft room because it is so pretty and it's giving me so much inspiration and I absolutely love this paper. And oh my God, I just realized you gave me some of that painter washi type. <laughs> And I might actually, if I take out all the content, I might actually be able to use this to tuck stuff in. I don't know, just a random thought. First of all, oh my goodness, you gave me so many used stamps. I cannot wait to actually look at these and start using them to decorate. Oh, some little buttons. Oh, this kitty one is so cute. That is so cute. And another kitty. Oh, these are adorable. Uh, like when I see this, I want to do some sewing, even though I don't actually sew. This is her letter, which I will keep private. But seriously, look at how pretty this is. I really, really do like this. Oh man. And then, let me see. Ooh, die cuts, a little bit of everything. First of all, love the paper clips. Really, really pretty. Rose gold. Love the washi type samples. And I'm going to look at the die cuts because you know I love die cuts. Beginnings, oh, and she gave me some of the cards, yippee. You have but one life, enjoy the journey. Wow, these are so pretty. Oh my God, I, I actually wanna buy this now. Oh, this is so precious. I'm never gonna use these in my life. I'm gonna hoard them forever. This one is my favorite, but I love all the leaf designs as well. Man, this is really, really pretty. No one tell me how this collection is called because I'm going to buy it. Die cuts, a little bit of everything. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow, that's a whole lot. Ooh, we have some of those vintage looking ones again. That is really cool. Oh, ladybugs, I love it. Oh, here's another ladybug. That's so cute. Ooh, a little birdhouse. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. I really immediately want to craft with all of this. I have to admit, I don't actually do, I, I started this channel with a couple of um, vintage mail videos. I don't actually make that much vintage looking mail anymore, but I have to admit, this really makes me excited to do that again. Happy Valentine's. These are also adorable. Robin, you're spoiling me. You are spoiling me. Can I actually put all of this back? Oh, by the way, let me know if you would reuse or keep this um, this envelope flipbook. What would you 
wow, I cannot speak anymore. What would you use it for? Because I'm thinking of hanging it up in my craft room and things I could do is, for example, put tea in there instead of my usual tea baskets that I have everywhere. I could put tea in there or letters I have written but not made mail for yet. Or, I don't know, there are so many things I could do. But I actually, I do, like I try to reuse and repurpose and save as much of the mail I get as possible. But it's hard, but I wanna find a way. <laughs> and then we have this cute trim. I don't know how you call that. This one with the leaves and this one, which is a gold, this, a green sparkly one. Oh my God. This is so adorable. Wow. And then, ooh, old lace, 1970. Wow, that's precious. That's cool. I wonder if you found that in a thrift store or something. That's actually really pretty. And then we have more. We have some pretty tags. Some stickers, ribbon and lace. Ooh, these stickers. I know these. These are really cute. They're all cactus designs and succulents. So adorable. I absolutely love this. Thank you so much, Rowan. I cannot wait to read your letter and of course, find a good purpose for this flip book. I'm always trying to stay away from favorites and stuff like that because I love everything you guys send me, but sometimes there's just something that really makes you excited and this is definitely one of them. The last piece of mail, which is a huge one, this one is from Kylie from Australia. It's very, very big, very, very fat. And I have, kept, I have kept it closed, which I'm very, very proud of. <laughs> because boy, am I curious to see what is in here. Oh my goodness, I see some packages. <gasps> what did you do? Oh my God, Kylie, 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 I'm, I'm scared to turn this around. Oh my god, she gave me like whole packs of things. Oh my god. Heidi swap note cards. <gasps> I am spoiled. I don't even know where to start. Where am I gonna start? Okay, fine, I'm gonna start with the note cards. How can you give that away? I, whenever you guys send me such big packages, I always feel very greedy because I sometimes find it hard to share my stuff. I've actually been getting better at it, but wow. I'm not as good as you guys. Oh, this is so pretty. That's so cool. I wonder, do you guys have like actual stores where you could buy this stuff? I can only get it online. But I'm not complaining because it would cost me my entire salary. Be happy. A vintage looking one. Oh my God. These, again, I've said it in a previous video as well, but I'm, I've started packing up all my stuff, which is horrible, horrible, because I want to keep everything out and I want to craft with it. But I had to, because otherwise, how am I ever going to move? But these kind of things come in really handy because I can just use these to make mail and send as many of you a postcard as possible because they're absolutely adorable. I absolutely love these. I'm going to turn them into both postcards with a message in them as well as probably loaded greeting cards so cool oh and it says thank you i think this might be her note or her letter to me it's gonna take a peek oh again a beautiful card it says hello you beautiful oh that's so sweet this is adorable she said she actually said thank you for your YouTube channel and that she loves watching it and that she wanted to give back, which is the kindest thing ever. And you definitely get it a lot. And then, oh, I see some, I think mixed media. Did you make this yourself? That is so cool. Oh, I love this charm. <gasps> I'm obsessed already. Oh my God, where do I start? This one. I think you might have made this yourself. If you did, wow, that's really cool. This feels like decoupage, how do you call that? Wow, these are like little, little gift bags. Really, really cool. I think you did make this yourself. I wanna know how, I wanna know how, that's really cool. 
These are some regular ones which I totally can use to make something myself. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I think this actually looks like the design that was also on one of the postcards. Or am I completely tripping? No, look. I think this is actually matching. A matching set. How cool. And then there's this little note. These little bags are made from a Tim Holtz Thinlitz die. Some are made from cards, craft paper, book pages with napkins glued on. Whoa, I see, I knew it. This is probably the napkins. That's really cool. I wanna, I wanna have one of those machines, really. Oh my God, this is really cool. Definitely, definitely going to use all of them. This looks like handmade paper, which is really cool. And she used it to wrap something in. Oh my God, I'm feeling so spoiled. Wow, wow, this paper is so cool. Oh, there's actually leaves in here. Oh my God. First of all, I'm still obsessed over the paper. Look at that. And then she gave me a letter writing set and stickers and more stickers. This is like a little cat themed meal. That's so cute. A letter set, I absolutely love it. It's like letter writing paper with envelopes and closing stickers. Okay, it happened for the millionth time. My battery um, died and I don't know where it cut me off. So I'm gonna start again, but Wow, Kylie, <laughs> this is absolutely adorable. She gave me a letter writing set with this beautiful cat themed paper and then these cute cat themed envelopes and closing stickers. And then also these cute, cute, cute stickers again, cat th stickers in different, <laughs> different positions, which is absolutely adorable. And then these tiny sparkly ones, which are so cute as well. These will be really fun. I know I have one pen pal who loves cats as much as I do. So I already know I want to make some meal for her with this. And then, and then this one. This has been looking at me. I think this is a paper. Lots of different papers. Some from the rejected shop and some from Dicer. Okay, I know Dicer is a Japanese store, I think. But I don't know what the rejected shop is. Oh wait, I do know. Is it the reject store? I don't know if that's the same. I see it on Instagram sometimes. They have the coolest stuff. Oh my God, this is actually so much. What? I'm gonna speed through this, okay? Come on. Okay. Wow, I especially love these, the watercolor cactus one and the watercolor flowers. But wow, these are so cute and you've given me so many. And I also saw some that you used to make the tiny envelopes from. That's really, really clever. So wow, <laughs> Kylie. I actually, I think if I would have packed all of my craft supplies and I would have only kept your meal, it would have been enough for me to continue making meal. Oh my god, look at this. One, two, three, four, five more packages to open. First this one, a cute little craft paper baggie. And it's quite fat. <gasps> what? Oh my god, washi tape. Yay, yay, yay. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, patches. This is actually, this looks the same as... Okay, I already wrapped it up, but this actually looks the same as the cat. The cat. Stationary, wow, the cat stickers looks the same, but maybe it's different. But I think this might actually, oh yeah, this is all from Dyser. I wanna get a Dyser because this looks so cool. And then we have two washi types, one with, oh, two with cats. That's actually adorable. Aw, so a thin washi and this beautiful uh, mint green one. That's absolutely adorable. You're really spoiling me. I am actually really excited to make that meal for my cat loving pen pal. And then a little mini mouse envelope with some. Ooh, oh, oh my God. That's cool, man. She gave me some pretty um, lace. I think I'm gonna call it lace. I forgot ribbon. Robin just told me, but I forgot again. And then this looks like snow, which is really cool. And it's really, really soft. I wanna make socks with this. <laughs> and then this one, which has rainbow colors, which is really, really cool. And I, I love this for wrapping up letters and stuff. 
That is so cute and so soft. Thank you, Kylie. I'm actually spoiled. This is like my birthday part three, I guess. And then this little envelope, which has a little piggy on the front. Let's see if we can take him off. Oh, he's holding on for life. Whoops. And in here are some sticker flakes. <laughs> I like your choice. These are really cute. They're again the same kitty, so it's all matching. How adorable. Meow. Aww. It's like a fashion kitty. So sweet, so sweet, so sweet. So sweet. I absolutely love it all. I have two more packages, I cannot believe it. Which one first? Oh my God, I absolutely love this paper. This is beautiful. Is this a napkin or is this uh, tissue paper? I love it. I'm gonna save that one for last. This one has little craft paper baggy. <gasps> no, this is Kiki Kai again. <sighs> you guys, I cannot accept all of these beautiful gifts. I mean, I cannot accept it, but I will because I love it, but wow. So this is a little notebook with the Kiki K design on it. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. I want to go to Australia again, just to go to the Kiki K and the Daiso and all, and all of those stores. Really, really cool. I'm gonna have to find good use for that. And then last but not definitely not least, wow, this washi tape is also beautiful. This paper, I love it. I'm going to save that. Maybe use it as a background for something. I don't know yet. Oh no, she gave me more presents. Wow. Oh, this is really cool. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I. oh, that's adorable. It's like little, this is like miniature, miniature cat stationery. Oh yeah, it even says so, mini letter set, cat. <laughs> I actually made that up myself, but it's actually the name. So we have a miniature letter writing paper and a miniature envelope and even stickers. That is so cute. And then what is this? It's, oh, it's actually little baggies. Oh my God. I'm gonna open this up. It's like Ziploc baggies. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, this is again the, the, the perfume, the, the stylish cat. Oh, that's so sweet, look. I have to be careful, I don't wanna rip it. And then I can put gifts in here. That is so cute. I can actually make an entire meal with just your presence, which is absolutely insane. Thank you so much for all of this, Kylie. I really feel incredibly spoiled and I absolutely love everything. Really, you're thanking me, but I'm the one who should be thanking you. Wow, <laughs> look at all of this. I don't even know what is my favorite, but I want to craft with all of it. Thank you so much, Kylie. You're really too kind. I cannot, I cannot actually wait to craft with all of this. I'm going to put all of your um, letters and addresses in the to reply pile. I really hope I get to pick as many of you as possible uh, the upcoming weeks. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't feel shy to leave me a comment. I always love reading those. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. <laughs> I'm gonna go craft now. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Bye bye.